Webb Telescope is shaking the very foundations of cosmology, and not even Nobel Prize winning physicist Adam Rees is surprised. In fact, he's convinced our understanding of the universe is flawed. The cosmos isn't playing by the rules. It's expanding far faster than our best models predict. That mysterious mismatch, known as the Hubble tension, is now one of the greatest puzzles in modern science. What the Webb Telescope has uncovered isn't just another star or galaxy. It's a fundamental contradiction in the data, a cosmic paradox that suggests our entire model of the universe might be incomplete. The evidence coming back from the deepest reaches of space is not just beautiful, it's proving to be deeply perplexing, forcing scientists to confront the possibility that everything from the Big Bang to the nature of reality itself is more complicated than we ever knew. To understand the gravity of this situation, you have to understand the messenger. The man at the center of this isn't a fringe theorist. It's Adam Rees, a professor at Johns Hopkins University. In 2011, he, along with Saul Perlmutter and Brian Schmidt, won the Nobel Prize in Physics for discovering that the expansion of the universe is accelerating. That revelation introduced us to the greatest mystery in all of science, dark energy. So when a man of his stature says we have a problem, the scientific community listens. After analyzing the latest, hyper-precise data from the Webb Telescope, Rees made a statement that sent ripples through the world of astronomy. He said, With measurement errors negated, what remains is the real and exciting possibility that we have misunderstood the universe. Let that sink in. This isn't a minor anomaly. This is a Nobel laureate using data from the most advanced space telescope ever built, suggesting our foundational model of the cosmos has a serious issue. For decades, we have relied on a framework called the Standard Model of Cosmology. It's a powerful theory that explains the Big Bang, the afterglow of creation, and the 13.8 billion year history of our universe. It's been a towering achievement of human intellect, but the Webb Telescope, with its golden eye, is seeing things that don't quite fit. It was designed to answer our biggest questions, but instead it's posing new ones, questions so profound they challenge the very essence of our cosmic story. At the heart of this unfolding scientific crisis is a decade-long mystery that cosmologists call the Hubble Tension. So what is it? Let's break it down. Imagine you need to know how fast a car is moving. You have two perfectly reliable ways to find out. First, you use a radar gun to clock at speed right now. The radar tells you it's going 73 miles per hour. The second way is to look at where the car started, calculate how long it's been driving, and determine the speed it should have. But that calculation tells you the car should only be going 67 miles per hour. Both methods are supposed to be accurate, yet they give you two different answers. This is the Hubble tension. In cosmology, there are two gold standard methods for measuring the universe's expansion rate, a number called the Hubble constant. The first is the local measurement. This is our radar gun. Adam Reese's team uses the Hubble telescope and now the Webb telescope to look at stars in our cosmic neighborhood. They use pulsating stars and exploding stars as standard candles to measure distance. By knowing their distance and how fast they're moving away, they can calculate the universe's current expansion rate. For years, this method has consistently given a value of around 73 kilometers per second per megaparsec. The second method is the early universe measurement. This is like calculating the car's speed from its origin. Scientists study the cosmic microwave background, the faint afterglow of the Big Bang. By feeding data from the Planck satellite into the standard model of cosmology, they can predict what the expansion rate should be today. This prediction consistently gives a value of about 67. For years, the hope was that this tension was just a measurement error. But here's the kicker. The Webb telescope was meant to be the final judge. With its infrared vision, it can see through cosmic dust with unprecedented clarity. Everyone expected it to find the error. It did the exact opposite. Adam Reese and his team used the Webb telescope to recheck the measurements. The result? The Webb telescope data aligned perfectly with Hubble's. There was no error. The local universe is stubbornly expanding at 73. This is what turns a discrepancy into a full-blown scientific crisis. As Rees himself has noted, with NASA's two flagship telescopes confirming the same result, the problem isn't with the measurements. 
The implication is inescapable. The other method, the one based on our fundamental theory of the universe, must be missing something. If the measurements are right, what part of the theory is wrong? This question is forcing cosmologists to look at the very components of reality. The prime suspect? The most mysterious thing of all. Dark energy. Dark energy is the name for the unknown force causing the universe's expansion to accelerate. In the standard model, it's treated as a cosmological constant, an idea Albert Einstein once called his biggest blunder. In this view, dark energy is a smooth, unchanging property of space itself. But what if it's not constant? The Webb Telescope's confirmation of the Hubble tension is giving serious momentum to a once fringe idea that dark energy evolves. Perhaps it's a dynamic, changing field, something scientists call early dark energy. Think of it like this. The standard model says the yeast in your bread dough works at a steady pace. But what if there was an extra powerful yeast that gave the dough a huge push right at the beginning and then faded away? This is the concept of early dark energy. The theory suggests that in the first few hundred thousand years after the Big Bang, an additional burst of cosmic acceleration happened. This extra push would have changed the conditions of the early universe, which would change our calculation of the Hubble constant from that ancient light. It could perfectly solve the Hubble tension, reconciling the 67 and 73, but the implications are staggering. It would mean Einstein's cosmological constant is wrong, and the force driving our universe is far more complex and unpredictable than we thought. The Webb Telescope's data has moved this from a what-if scenario to a serious line of inquiry. While the Hubble tension challenges the rules of the cosmos, another Webb Telescope's discovery is challenging its history. Peering back to the cosmic dawn, the telescope is finding things that, according to our models, shouldn't exist so early. The standard story of galaxy formation is a slow, gradual one. Over billions of years, gravity was expected to pull gas into small, clumpy proto-galaxies, which then merged into the grand structures we see today. Astronomers expected the Webb telescope to find faint, chaotic cosmic infants. Instead, they found what one astrophysicist described as fully grown adults in a preschool. They spotted galaxies just 300 to 500 million years after the Big Bang that were shockingly massive and well-organized, some rivaling the Milky Way. These impossible early galaxies are 10 times more common than predicted. According to our models, there simply wasn't enough time for gravity to assemble them so quickly. Caitlin Casey, a professor at UC Santa Barbara, put it plainly, we just do not know how to make that happen. Furthermore, the telescope is also finding supermassive black holes, monsters millions of times the mass of our sun, far earlier than expected. How did they get so big, so fast? The standard model has no easy answer. The evidence suggests the entire process of cosmic construction happened at a shockingly accelerated rate. The story of slow, patient evolution may be incomplete. Faced with a universe that expands too fast and builds galaxies too quickly, some scientists are now contemplating a radical alternative. What if we've been wrong about gravity? To explain the cosmos, we've had to invent two invisible substances, dark matter and dark energy. Together, they supposedly make up 95% of the universe, yet we've never detected either. But what if the problem isn't missing matter, but a misunderstanding of gravity itself? This leads us to a controversial theory known as Modified Newtonian Dynamics, or MOND. Proposed in the 1980s, MOND suggests that on galactic scales, gravity is slightly stronger at very low accelerations than our current laws predict. This small tweak has huge consequences. With modified gravity, you can explain the rotation of galaxies without needing dark matter. The missing mass was never missing. Our equations were just incomplete. 
For decades, MOND was a niche idea, but the crises in cosmology, amplified by the Webb telescope, are forcing a second look. To be clear, embracing MOND would mean overhauling the foundations of physics, and it faces its own challenges. But the fact that it's being seriously discussed shows how significant these new puzzles have become. When your observations don't line up with theory, you have to start questioning everything. So we are at a pivotal moment. The Webb telescope was sent to confirm our story of the cosmos. Instead, it's telling us that the story might be flawed. The Hubble tension is not an error. It's a real feature of the cosmos. The ancient universe is filled with massive galaxies that grew up too fast. Our most fundamental theories are being tested. Dark energy might be a dynamic, evolving entity. Even the force of gravity itself is being questioned. We have been here before. We once believed the Earth was the center of everything until we learned our true place. We once believed in a static universe until we discovered an expanding, accelerating, and deeply strange reality. The Webb telescope may be signaling the next great shift in our understanding. It has shattered the calm and thrown cosmology into a state of beautiful, exhilarating chaos. What if this cosmic puzzle is trying to tell us something new about the universe? The old textbook is closing. And now, the race is on to figure out what the new one will say. If you thought space was weird, think again. Hit subscribe, tap that bell, and join us as we unravel the mystery that's making even Nobel laureates sweat.